Welcome to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham Insurance and Financial Services. This show focuses on sharing good news and powering the good in our community. Now here's your host, City Current CEO, Jeremy Park. Welcome to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference and powering the good. And we always love talking about the power of media and storytelling. That's why we're honored to have our good friend, Larry T. Robinson. He is the CEO and founder of Kazukian. He's also the executive director of KMG, which is Kazukian Media Group. How are you doing? Wonderful, Jeremy. How are you today? Doing well. We have so much love and admiration for all you do and how you do it. And so when you look at storytelling, media, podcasting, so many great things to talk about. But let's start with a little bit of context before we dive into a lot of the main projects you really want to talk about. Give us some background on Kazukian. Okay, so Kazukian was created about 2014. We jumped into the podcast game uh, after I, I pretty much was sharing going back and forth between Memphis and New York. But about 2014, I came back to Memphis full time. And at that moment, I realized that there was a hole in the in the in the ecosystem, in the digital media ecosystem. And I created a podcast network called the Kazookian Podcast Network, really. And uh, we started with a few shows um, right over in Midtown, right on Monroe Street in an apartment building. Uh, we created about three or four shows and and went from that to ultimately producing shows for the city of Memphis. And and um, then we went on to create a show for the police department, city council, county commission. And we were off to the races with uh, our podcast network. So so that's pretty much the background and uh, born and raised Louisville, Kentucky. But I am been in Memphis for 28 years and I am not going. Y'all can't get rid of me, Memphians. Y'all can't get rid of Larry Robinson. I am a Memphian. I don't care what you say. I'll fight about it. <laughs> well, I love that you're using your storytelling, your podcasting, your media production to make a difference. And that will tie in, especially on the media group side and working with all the different nonprofits. But Touch on a couple of, you know, your favorite moments and you don't have to dive into all the different shows, but when you look at the ability of stories to make a difference, the ability for podcasting to make a difference, Mm -hmm. talk about kind of from that lens of the power of media. Well, I can tell you, um, we created one of the early shows was R&R on sports and it's nationally syndicated in over a hundred markets now. Um, some of my best moments have been talking with some of the greats, uh, Dr. J. Um, Dr. J talking about how he loved being a, a grandfather and how he just enjoyed the times with his family. Uh, Lionel Hollins, he talked about, you know, I, I, I asked him a question, what is one thing you would want people to know? And he said, I just want to be known as a human being. I got kids. I got grandkids. I got a wife. And I was like, wow, man, these guys are, you know, because of who they are and their popularity, many times people forget that they're, they have real lives. So that piece, shoot, Jim Brown, I mean, people that have gone on to glory, you know, Hank Aaron, we got to interview all these, me and Howard Robertson um, have gotten a chance to have some of the moments that have really it kind of marked time. And, uh, and uh, that's been the most beneficial, but, but what I, do now what we spend our time doing now to me jeremy is what's most important and when you think about the journey and you think about these young boys in our community that's what's most important i have three boys i have three boys uh larry nye and jude and when they go outside they don't have uh larry robinson's sons on their back and they're just like any other young man in this community and what we're able to do in bringing these these iconic figures of our community to them directly through digital means such as the journey and these interviews with some of these individuals as well as being able to take these individuals into our schools and working with the great archie moss of the gentleman's league and and being able to 
um, really touch these young men and let them know that this community loves them and cares for them and wants the best for them, that's the most important work uh, that we can do. And that's, and that's where I get my joy from today. Before we switch over and start diving into some of the specific initiatives, touch on uh, nonprofit side, Kazuki and Media Group. So Kazuki and Media Group started and we're in the midst of a restructure. So so you're going to be hearing more. And but but we started Kazuki and Media Group to support other nonprofits. So what Kazuki and Media Group was about was stepping in and supporting entities and working with you know what was momentum at the time which is now tennessee nonprofit partners we working with kevin dean and his group to create opportunities for like um peer power peer power was doing a, a event over at whitehaven high school where they were doing signing day for those kids that were going to college and it was the most amazing thing but we were able to prov provide them a grant to underwrite that production of that live stream event. And so people from all over the country and even in the community were able to watch our babies as they announced where they were gonna take the next step in their journey of life. And, and, and that was really important to us. Working with Tennessee nonprofit partners and Kevin Dean, as I mentioned, um, and creating their show, uh, I was told there would be snacks, which is an amazing show, by the way. And, and, and so, and being able to, to amplify the work of this amazing nonprofit community that we have here in Memphis, has been really beneficial. And that was what KMG was founded on. Now we've kind of, we're gonna be shifting. We're gonna be shifting a little into this Grow Tennessee and, and this Grow Tennessee network, which is an OTT channel that's gonna amplify the unique ag profile of the state of Tennessee. And that is even more critical because guess what? Everybody eats. So therefore, if everybody eats, we all need to understand agriculture. We need to understand where our food comes from. We need to understand that supply chain. We need to understand how we can grow food and actually eliminate some of these uh, food deserts in our community. We got blighted property, raise that property, which is a uh, shout out to Mike Harris and, and, and Mayor Young that they got a new initiative called the Green Bank and, uh, and the Memphis Land Bank. And they're going to be taking these properties that are that are blighted, raising them and then actually planning, planning some community gardens, which is going to allow us to kind of kind of mitigate the impact of having a food desert. So so those are that's the kind of work that I think is the work that that is fueling me today and, and, and has me most excited. Let's go ahead and dive in deeper, because as you were alluding to, when you look at the network and the Grow Tennessee network, what that entails and what that provides as an opportunity, it's really huge. And so go ahead and dive in deeper. So Grow Tennessee Network is an OTT platform. And for those who don't understand OTT, on top of television, which is a connected television platform. So think of Roku, Apple TV, uh, Amazon TV, LG TV, Samsung TV, and your iOS which is your Apple platforms and then your uh, Android platforms, we're going to be able to take Tennessee and the Tennessee agriculture community to the rest of the world. We have one of the most robust, it's our number one business in the state of Tennessee is agriculture. Now, let that, let that sink in for a moment. The number one business a multi-billion dollar business for the state of Tennessee is agriculture. And we're going to be able to amplify that brand and that work that we do across the world. So if you have a, a connected device and you're in Timbuktu, Egypt, guess what? You're going to be able to check out Grow Tennessee and you're going to be able to see why Tennessee is one of the most amazing states in the country as it relates to its unique agriculture profile. So, so that is what we're doing with, uh, with uh, Grow Tennessee. And we are launching the network. We, we have four shows. Uh, one show just completed its entire season. 
being um, all in the family, hosted by Deravia and Bobby Rich of Black Seeds, who are a great uh, community act, uh, garden creators. And we're amplifying this innovation in, in the urban space as it relates to agriculture. So you're going to learn about aquaponics. You're going to learn about Marlon Foster and, and the work he's doing over the green leaf. Um, you're going to learn about the Lockhart uh, and th then you can go to Daryl Levins and him talk about the work that he's doing with aquaponics and hydroponics. I mean, so so it's, it's, it's helping the urbanist understand that just because you live in an urban environment, you can still take part in this need for richer, greater uh, fruits and vegetables with agriculture in the urban spaces. And then we have another show called Making It in Memphis. Listen, within 100 miles of the city of Memphis, you have some of the best land, you have the best water, and we could probably grow almost 90 to 95 percent of all crops right here in this area. Now, many people don't know that. It's, it's, it's immeasurable how important we are in this agriculture space and how important Memphis is. We have some of the most amazing water in the world, not just the United States, the world. And, and because of that, it allows us to do many things that people in California can, people in other parts of the country can. And that's what makes us attractive to this community. And guess what? We have the largest urban farm in the whole country in Shelby Farms and the Agri Center. So we talk about innovation in agriculture. It's happening right here in Memphis, Tennessee. It's happening right here at the Agri Center. And I'm just so grateful to be a part of that. And, and what John Butler is doing, shout out to Big John, the CEO of, of AgriCenter. Um, he's an innovator, man. He's an innovator. And he saw us and we got a chance to work together during the uh, pandemic. And he said, hey, man, I got a place for you. We got a place that you're needed. I said, John, I don't know anything about agriculture. He said, I didn't ask you to. I just need you to know media. And so we've been out here and we formed this partnership and we're doing some great stuff in that space. So that's making it in Memphis. The third show is a show called Everybody Eats. And the reason is, is because everybody eats, but we don't know where our food comes from. So the show is about you know, hosted by the amazing food scientist, Jay Clark. She's talking about the supply chain of food. Where did that tomato come from? Where did that piece of beef come from? Where, I mean, you know, working with restaurants, you know, all those things. You know, Kelly English is a good friend of ours that we do work with. So, so that is that show. And then the fourth show is a show called Ray, uh, Growing the Next Gen, which is the next generation of kids and leaders in the agriculture space. And it's made, a, it has three hosts that are young people that are truly focused on agriculture, no agriculture, and are committed to agriculture. And uh, we're just excited about that. So, so we have those four shows. It's gonna take us into 2025 and uh, well into 2025. And then we're gonna come with a whole lot other stuff. And so um, we were funded initially with a, with, a, with, a, with a very important grant from the Tennessee Department of Agriculture and, uh, and working with uh, uh, Charlie Hatcher, which is our commissioner of agriculture, deputy commissioner, Jeff Aiken, uh, assistant commissioner, Andy Holt, and then the, my ag angel, which I like to call her, is uh, Miss Colleen Corey, who has uh, really been beneficial in, in my development as, a, as a, in my learning as it relates to agriculture. So, so, so we got some great stuff happening and, and really uh, excited about the future for Grow Tennessee. Yeah, tremendously exciting in terms of what it could mean for not only visibility and marketing and opportunities, but, you know, when you look at ag tourism, innovation, just yes. sharing the story, education, yeah. obviously, is a huge piece of this. So really exciting yeah. uh, what it presents. Touch on, you've, you've talked about the journey a little bit, but touch on the Boys of Color Conference. So check this out, man. March 29th, 2025, we have the second Boys of Color Conference out here at the Agri Center. And one of the things that we talked about is if they can see it, they can be it. If we can show it to them, if we can show young people what life really has, they can then aspire to something more. So, so this conference, 
the beauty, beautiful part of it is we're looking at nurturing futures. So we'll have stuff about agriculture. We'll have the police and we'll have the fire department and we'll have chefs and we'll have DJs and all those things. But here's something else that we'll have. We're going to have so many of these young people see athletes and entertainers as the persons that they need to aspire to be. But what the, we're going to have athletes and entertainers talk about their back end. And what do I mean by that? They're going to talk about their attorneys, their accountants, all those people that help them manage the business of them. So what we're showcasing this year at the Boys of Color Conference 2025 is what happens behind the athlete, what happens behind the scenes, their marketing executive, their social media. There's so many jobs that are in that that are taking care of these individuals that we see on television and we see on on social media. However, there's a whole group of people that 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 are invested into this. And and you know that. I mean, you you're the pretty face that gets to stand in front of City Current, but but you know no one talks about all the people that help make Jeremy uh the amazing person that he is. Well, same thing here at Kazuki. You know, I get to be the beautiful face that uh, that that stands out front and, and get to make all the speeches and do all the television interviews. However, there is a Misty Ingram that that makes sure that that the that the schedules and everything happens correctly. You got you got Krista, Krista, who uh, Krista Scott, who makes sure that we uh, our shows are have quality and our quality control. And she's our lead producer. And there's Jeremy McKnight, who who runs our traffic and Kirk Reed and and I'm gonna start naming names and I'm gonna forget somebody and Alexis Alexis uh, Alexis Madden who does so so it's so many people behind Larry Robinson that don't get the shine so I want to make sure that we get an opportunity to give them the shine because it's more than Larry Robinson and so with the Boys of Color Conference that's what we're hoping to amplify this year. And uh, hopefully we'll get some good sponsors to, to come on board with us so we can really make this thing robust. You know, and that's my shameless plug. Please come on. Good sponsors. Come on so we can make this thing huge. And uh, but but honestly, honestly, that's what we're wanting to show is that there's so much more to this than being the person in front of the camera. Um, and so and so that's what we're hoping to do with the Boys of Color Conference in 2025, outside of letting them know that, hey, man, you're valuable and, and we need you. We need you to be successful. And so we're going to do things like meditation. They're going to be doing things like yoga. You know, so so I mean, it's going to be a really powerful conference. Remember, March 29th, 2025. Boys of Color Conference. I love it. We'll wrap <laughs> up with where we can go to learn more about Kazukian, Kazukian Media Group. So where do we go to learn more, connect in, and obviously carry these conversations forward? Well, I created the name Kazukian because I was driving from Memphis to Atlanta and Kudzu was growing all over the place, all over. And I said, man, that effect that Kazukian, Kudzu, Kudzu has it must be the Kazookian effect. And I said, is that even a word? So I created this word. So so if you just Google Kazookian, you're going to find all kinds of stuff because we're the only one Kazookian in the world. So and plus, we trademarked that name, by the way, Jeremy. <laughs> so so uh, Kazookian, if you if you go there online, you can find us. If you go to your television platform, um, if you go to, and, and just uh, pull up the apps, uh, Grow Tennessee app. I want you to pull up the Grow Tennessee app because the Grow Tennessee app, whatever platform you're on, if you're on your on your television and you got Roku or you got an Apple TV or you got a Samsung or an LG LG TV, pull up the Grow Tennessee app and see what we're doing in the ag space. This is what makes us unique here in Memphis in this region in the mid south. The agriculture, Tennessee, it's you know, just like football, basketball, man, we got to put agriculture up there. So we like to say with Grow Tennessee, we bringing a little swag to ag. 
We're going to bring a little swag to ag, baby. We're going to make agriculture sexy. We're going to make agriculture beautiful and engaging. And we're going to have plenty of edutainment at when it, as it relates to agriculture. So, so that's what we're looking forward to. And, and we need your help to keep amplifying all this work that we're doing. Well, good stuff. I love it. Greatly appreciate everything you and your amazing team are doing, Larry at Kazuki. And so thank you thank for you. all you do to power the good. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. And if y'all don't know it, Jeremy embraced me back when I moved back to the city full time, gave me access to Breakfast Club and City Current. And so I'm for always indebted to this brother right here, an amazing man of God. And I truly appreciate you, Jeremy. I really do. Higginbotham Insurance and Financial Services is proud to power the City Current Show. We're a people first company that protects what matters most, the families, businesses, and trailblazers that keep our community going. As one of the nation's top independent insurance firms, Higginbotham is a single source solution for business insurance, employee benefits, HR services, and personal insurance that's customized for you. We're here to serve you, the people you care about, and your community. Call 866-377-1959 or visit Higginbotham.com.